high fans of high quality entertainment. Today, on this series, Become a Fan of, I hope you become a fan of Black Oak, Arkansas. You may have heard of them, you may not have heard of them. And I also want to thank uh, some of the people that checked out my uh, playlist for Jane Sibbery. And some of you actually became fans of her music or were already fans. So hopefully the same will come about with this. Now Black Oak, Arkansas were actually a, a pretty, pretty damn popular rock band in the uh, early 70s. And after the Beatles, and Grand Funk Railroad. I think they were my third, it might have been Ur Uriah Heep and then Black Oak Arkansas, but, and Humble Pie around that time. Those were my first few favorite bands growing up. And what's funny about Black Oak Arkansas, the first time I saw them, once again, was on TV. I think it was Don Kirshner's Rock Concert or ABC's In Concert, and they put on quite a show. And Jim Dandy, the, the lead singer, uh, a, a before and after picture. I mean, people age, okay? But uh, even uh, David Lee Roth has said that uh, Jim Dandy was an inspiration for him, and he might have even copied some of his moves or whatever, I don't know. But I think Black Oak, Arkansas, you know, for quite a few years I've been kind of when I think about, oh, I was a fan of Black Oak, Arkansas, and kind of laugh it off, even though I still like their music. But I just recently checked out more of their music on Spotify and watched some YouTube videos. They were a damn good rock band. And Jim Dandy's still performing today, by the way, uh, with Black Oak, Arkansas. And I don't know what it is about unique singers, uh, people that the general public might go, oh, he can't sing, or that's, he, he's a weird singer. But I think Jim Dandy was the first one with his southern accent, I guess you call it, like, uh, I don't want to use any terms that are going to upset people, but uh, it's, it's a, uh, uh, a singer I've, I could never have heard of, I've, I've never heard of before, I never have since, just the way he sings. And so you have to get used to that, but he is a great singer. And so I've chosen five songs on a playlist, on a YouTube playlist, which should be in the description below, and I hope you check them out. I did not include their biggest hit, Jim Dandy, which you can check out on YouTube if you like. I, I, I don't always... Uh, pick the most popular songs for these artists. It's just songs that I think my viewers would be interested in hearing. So first on the list is Happy Hooker. Uh, it's from the first album I ever owned by Black Oak, Arkansas called High on the Hog. And what's funny is however old I was, 58, 68, 9, 7, 14, I didn't know what High on the Hog I didn't know what high really meant. I never clued into the title. And Happy Hooker, one of the songs on the album, I didn't know what a hooker was. I still don't. <laughs> but it's one of their most popular songs too. Second is, uh, this is the studio version of a song called Up, although they, t they title it Up, 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 Up. It's, it's just called Up. Anyway, there's a live version on Raunch and Roll, which features a, a pretty long drum solo. I'm not a big fan of drum solos, but this drum solo, drum solo by Tommy Aldridge, who you may have heard of. He's a very popular, very famous drummer. Uh, it's great. And the ending of Up, the live version, even the studio version is great, though, but the live version of Up, uh, for those that love Free Bird by Leonard Scott, Leonard Skinner. I don't say that very often. Uh, it reminds me of that, and it's just, it's total rock out perfection as far as I'm concerned. I love it. The third song, Bump and Grind, is from a later album. Uh, after High on the Hog, their next album, Street Party, was just kind of okay. But their album from 1975, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. It was very good. And the opening track, Bump and Grind, has the old Black Oak Arkansas sound that I love. 
Number four, another one of their most popular songs, Hot and Nasty. And I know Humble Pie has a song called Hot and Nasty too, but I believe the Black Oak version is was done first. And it ends with the last song from High on the Hog, Mad Man. I don't know why, but I just always love that song. I don't even know what he's singing half the time. I should Google, Google the lyrics. But uh, I just love the energy of the song. So that's it. Some Southern rock for you to listen to. You might like it. You might love it. You might even hate it. But just leave a comment below after you've checked them out. And definitely, if if you like what you're hearing, check the live version of Up. Uh, one of the live versions, uh, not great audio, but it's from the TV, TV show, I think it's in concert, and with the big drum solo and all that, but it's after the drum solo, with uh, Jim Dandy up on the drum riser and he drops down, and it's just total rock and roll. Yeah. Thumbs up for Black Oak, Arkansas. Have a great day. Bye.